I know nothing. I know nothing. Elliot, what's going on in there? What's Callie doing? Mm, uh, you know, things. I know, but I know nothing. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I have to go. What's happening in there, Lisa? Uh, uh, in there? Um, it's private, baby bot, uh, you know? But I know nothing! <sighs> they won't tell me anything! What are they doing in there? Launching translation. Don't worry, baby bot. We'll tell you. This strange place is hiding something inside. A toilet. Do you know what a toilet is, baby bot? Nope. Okay, pay attention. The toilet is a container we use when we have to <clears throat> pee or poop. Well, I specifically don't. But you living beings do. Fascinating. Yes. And remember the most important thing. After using the toilet, wipe, flush, and wash with soap. 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 I would if I had hands or a bottom. Oops, sorry, Billy. Wipe, flush, and wash with soap. Wipe, flush, and wash with soap. Wipe, flush, and wash with soap. Yes! That was a great explanation! Go, Billy! Best song ever. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Have you wiped? You wash your hands. Mm, um, well, uh. Let's see those hands. They are not clean. Go wash those hands with soap. Your hands? Billy says he didn't go to the bathroom. I'll fix that. Well, if you don't need to go... 
we will wait. That's right, Billy. We'll wait. Take your time. Ah, uh, I'm so jealous. I know nothing. Can I try some? Ew! Baby butt, that tastes terrible! Taste? Wait, you don't know about taste? Mm -mm. I know nothing! I'll show you! Welcome to the world of flavor! Our tasting menu today consists of sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. <laughs> Let's begin! Get ready to try... Oh. Sweet! Sweetness is found in many desserts and fruit. It gives you lots of energy! Um, 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 um. Ah, sweet. The menu continues with sour. Sour is an exciting and fun flavor that could give you savers. Bon appetit. Um. <laughs> Then, moving on with... Salty! Salt is added to lots of foods to make them tastier. And also to make them last longer. No, no, sir! Not the tin, only the fish! Salty! And now... Bitter! You'll find the bitter taste in lots of vegetables. It could seem a bit strong at first, but once you get used to it, you'll love it. Bitter! This on the menu is the newest flavor. Umami. Umami is a velvety flavor that fills your mouth. Umami in Japanese means tasty. There are many umami foods. For example, mushrooms, carrots, chicken, asparagus, parmesan cheese, french fries, Seafood? Did you like the experience? More flavors! Nope, there are no more flavors. What? No more flavors? No, sir. These are the five flavors. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. Baby Buck knows flavors! Creating Baby Buck Flavor! <laughs> try it, try it, try it, try it, try it, try it! Don't usually 
should bother us if we don't bother them. Did you do anything to this bee? No. We just wanted to play with a pinata. 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 <laughs> And then, for no reason, a bee started chasing us. Bad, bad bee. Bees are not bad. Bees are amazing. Don't you know anything about bees? I know nothing. Hmm, I can fix that. Billy, <gasps> didn't you have a machine that can turn us all into bees? <laughs> Machine. Perfect! This machine can turn us all into bees. For how long was it, Billy? Okay, cool. We have three minutes to see how incredible the bees really are. <laughs> Check it out! We are worker bees! And that means we have a lot of work to do! Every day, we fly from flower to flower, collecting pollen and nectar. <laughs> the pollen tickles! <laughs> right! Bees carry pollen from one plant to the next plant. Flowers, fruits, and vegetables. Wow, that's a big job. Exactly! The bees do tons of work to help the planet and everyone who lives here. And then they all come back to the hive, which is their home. Behold the beehive! Oh. Cool! Inside the hive, they all serve the queen bee. Hello, your highness. The bees take all the pollen and nectar they collected that day and turn it into honey! Wow! Bees are so cool! They help us and they make delicious honey! Honey! Mmm, honey! Uh-oh! Our time is almost up! We gotta get out of here before we turn into our real selves. We could destroy the hive. <laughs> ah, we gotta go. Honey. Well, um, after just one more taste of honey. We are so sorry. <laughs> we never should have trapped you. <laughs> Wait, Elliot! Oh no! Elliot, we'll break the hive! <gasps> Baby Bot B will save the hive! Little bee, it's me. Fly, fly, little bee. Farewell, bee. I hope you will forgive us. <gasps> Friends! Honey! Honey! Bye, no, bee! <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing.
Potato, potato, I love you, potato. You're the best thing in the world, my lovely, lovely potato. Rock in kitchen? No, 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 no. Potato! Why did you do that? No, Rock, in the kitchen. Rock? This is a potato. And a very beautiful one. Beautiful? <laughs> Rock. Don't listen to him, Potato. You are wonderful. Can you believe him? He thinks this beautiful potato is a rock. Don't you know potatoes at all? I know nothing. Ah, of course. Forgot about that. Come, Baby Bot. No. I will take you to the amazing world of potatoes. <laughs> Potatoes are tubers. A tuber is a large type of underground stem where some plants gather and store the nutrients they need. You see now? It's a potato! Rock! What? No! Potatoes are not rocks. They are awesome. Listen up. There are more than 4,000 different kinds of potatoes. Check out the Yukon Gold, the Benji, the Cachellos. Some are tiny, some are big, some are purple, but never green. Potato. Rock. No, no. Look. They come from South America. And because they are so great, now people all over the world love them. You see now, they are potatoes. Rock. Potato. Rock. Potato. Rock. Potato, potato, potato. Rock, rock, rock. No. How can I explain it to this hard-headed robot? Oh, of course! I forgot to tell you the most important thing about potatoes. <laughs> they are delicious! Rocks? Delicious? Oh, yes! They are the best food in the world. Let me show you. Mashed potatoes. Gnocchi. Spanish tortilla! <laughs> wow! I know! Potatoes! Potatoes know rock. Elliot is right. I know. Potato good. My potato! Potato amazing! <laughs> potato, potato! Delicious! Right, potato! And now, rock! And roll! <laughs> Would you like a photo, sir? A little to the left. Mm, too far. To the right. More to the right. Not so much. Left. Left. 
There. Now go up a bit. Up. Oops, too high. Down, down, down. Not so much. Up. That's it. Left, up, right, down. Up, right, right. Left, right.
launching translation. Indeed, that is not a chicken bone. That would be ridiculous. What we have here is a dinosaur bone. Dinosaurs. Don't make stuff up. That's a chicken bone. I am not making stuff up. Don't you know anything about dinosaurs? I know nothing. I will show you. Millions of years ago, dinosaurs ruled the Earth. There were dinosaurs everywhere, in the land, sea, and sky. And they came in all sizes. All sizes? Like chicken sized? Well, actually, yes. Like this small Comsognathus, <laughs> the fastest dinosaur of all. Why was it running so fast? Probably running away from that. Hello. <laughs> the Tyrannosaurus Rex is the fiercest predator of all the dinosaurs. Predator what? Predator. It means that it can eat us. Do you think they eat chicken too? Don't be afraid. Not all dinosaurs were predators. This Titanosaurus for example, is an herbivore. It eats plants. I like the titanosaur. Also, the titanosaurus was the biggest dinosaur of all. It was as tall as four elephants. And how many chickens is that? Calculating. 32. As tall as 32 chickens. Enough about chickens. I am talking about dinosaurs. They don't have anything to do with chickens. They're dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. The word means terrible lizard because at first people thought they belonged to the lizard family. But now we know that some of them were actually great, 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 great grandparents of today's birds. Birds? For example, could be, maybe, a chicken? Yes, technically, they were birds, like chickens. Chicken bone! Chicken bone! Chicken bone! Chicken bone! Chicken bone! Oh yeah, chicken bone! Chicken bone! I know! No, not me. It was here, and now it's not. And you're the only one here. 
You drank my water. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Enough! What on earth is going on here? Baby got to drink all the water from my pool. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Hey, hey, calm down already. Why don't we all go together to the big pool? Oops. All right. You're too small. But don't worry. Your water is right there. Huh? That's not my water. That's a cloud. Exactly! The water evaporated and turned into a pretty little cloud. Cloud? Water never stops. It's part of the water cycle, of course. <laughs> you don't know about the water cycle? I know nothing. I do, but I just forgot. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Enough. I'll teach you. But no arguing. Water never stops. The sun heats it up and turns it into water vapor. Up high in the sky, it cools down and becomes a cloud. And what does wind do to a cloud? Water never stops. Water drops in the cloud get bigger, then it rains. Water never stops. And it repeats again and again because... Water never stops! I guess you get it now. I know the water cycle. Now that you know what's happening, let's fill the pool. I don't want that water. What? I want my water. Ah. Oh no, my water's running away. Okay. Baby bot, follow that cloud! Water. It's snow. It's too cold. We need heat to melt the snow. Then it'll become water again. Baby Bob, we need to go where it's warm. Down the hill. Come swim with us, Lisa. Me? In a baby pool? I'm a month older than you. I'm going to the cool pool. The grown-up pool. <laughs> <laughs> To use the adult pool, you have to be this tall. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Is there room for one more? Mm, of course! <laughs> yes! yes.
light and warmth. <laughs> Without the sun, there would be no light on Earth. And it would be very cold. <laughs> Imagine that! I make light too. But the sun lights up the whole planet. Can you do that? <laughs> Nope. Sunshine is great, Baby Bot. It makes us feel happy! <laughs> See how sad everything is when there's no sun? Who could be happy in weather like this? La 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 Well... Except for Cowie. Mm-mm. I don't like the sun. Oh, no! Poor flower. Oh, the sunflower. It's wilting. Hmm. Hmm. Of course! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! The sun gives light. Without the sun, there would be no animals. 
No plants and no friends. The sun is good. Sun, friend. Stop! The sun is great, but very strong. We have to be careful to stay safe. Ready? Ready. Drink water. Check. Wear cool sunglasses to protect our eyes. Check. Wear sunscreen for our skin. Check. Wear a hat to protect our head. Check. That's it. Yeah. Sun. Red. No. Baby bot, stop. And most importantly, no hugging the sun, okay? Uh, uh okay. N no hugging. N no hugging. But you know who you can hug? All of your friends! All of them? Yes! All of them! All of them? All of them! Yay! Sad. I'm sure they do like your hats. Really? Well, um, yes? Yes, you just have to put them in order by size. In order? Do you know how to do that? My processor can calculate 12,000 trillion data points per second. Yes. I think I can correctly order hats by size. Elliot needs a big sized hat. Lisa needs a medium sized. And Billy needs a small sized hat. But Elliot is wearing a small hat. So he should wear... Lisa's head is medium sized, so she should wear the medium sized hat. <laughs> and Billy's head is the smallest, so he needs Ooh, the small hat. Hey, look, I have a hat. It fits perfectly. <laughs> I knew it. I make the best spring hat. But why do you call them spring hats? Because 
because they're spring hats. <gasps> oh, they were pretty before, but now they're beautiful. These are the best hats in the world. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, joy. This is going to be exciting. I just love show business. Yes, sorry. Number one, you're up. for number two. Not bad, but Billy, I have a lot of hidden talents, you know. I recite poetry, sing, tell jokes. You just have to give me a chance. Please, Billy, I want to be famous. Uh, fine then, number three's turn. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. Hey. Turn your turn. <laughs> Ahem, number four, it's your turn. <laughs> Cowie, you're number four. It's your turn. At least you have a chance, unlike me. Now it's your turn! Now it's your turn, Cowie! <laughs> okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Thank you. And now, a joke. What do you call a fly that lands on the butter? A butter. 
Butterfly. <laughs> thank you, thank you. This is the happiest day of my life. I know nothing. Launching translation, Kawi, baby bot, you are mistaken. No one is eating the moon. The moon is in the last quarter. Uh, the last quarter? It is simply in the waning phase. Don't you know anything about the moon? I know nothing. The moon is the Earth's natural satellite. Anything that moves around a planet is called a satellite. We only see part of the moon where the sun shines. Depending on where it is in relation to Earth at any given time, that's why sometimes it looks like it's missing a piece. No one is eating the moon, it's just the shadow. Does that make sense? Preparing rocket launch to the moon. Rocket ready. Take off in three, two, one. This is fun. On the surface of the moon, we weigh a lot less than on Earth. Oh, that's a lovely flag. Lisa, Lisa, we were on the moon. And we were floating in this hole. And nobody's eating it. And we put a flag on it. And, and, oh, nobody would believe that. Give it back. Give it back. Thank you. I know the moon. Now it is time to go. I know nothing.
What's the matter, baby bot? Please are falling. The tree is dying. <laughs> baby bot is not dying. The leaves will come back in spring. Spring? Not that kind of spring, baby bot. <laughs> I'm talking about the seasons of the year. Seasons? Hang on, you don't know about the seasons. I know nothing. <gasps> this is a job for Reporter Cowie. Breaking news, it is fall. What can you tell us about this baby box? I know nothing. We'll fix that. Connecting with our special fall reporter, Lisa. Hi, Cowie. As you can see, in fall, it starts to get cold and leaves fall off the trees. It can be rainy and it is also really windy. That's all from fall, Cowie. Back to you. I know fall. We have an update. Winter. Baby Bot, what can you tell us about winter? Nothing. Here's Elliot, reporting live from winter. Hello from the cold winter, where the days are shorter and it's so cold that sometimes it snows. And the trees still have no leaves. Goodbye from winter. The best and only time to play in the snow. I know winter! Ladies and gentlemen, and baby bot, spring is here! Lisa, what can you tell us about spring? Hey there, Cowie. Here's the scoop. We are going to see the first flowers of spring come to bloom. But watch out, because it is also allergy season! <laughs> we recommend this season to enjoy the colors and aromas of the flowers. And Baby Bot, look at all the leaves on the trees. Stop! What are you doing? 
instructions. Yeah, he gave us the list, but the dog ate it. Sure. <sighs> <clears throat> okay, I am going to tell you all you need to know about dogs. Dogs are canines that come in different sizes and colors. But they all need love and care. You must feed dogs every day. Food. No, no! They can only eat dog food. You also have to bathe them when they get dirty, okay? Okay, listen up! What I'm about to tell you is very important. You have to take dogs for walks every day. Don't forget to pick up the poop! And play with him! But most important of all, Give him all the love he needs. Aww. Hello there. So, how was Lucas? They did a great job with my help. Okay, great. Time to go. No, no don't take him away. I see that you can take good care of dogs. So, I have a special surprise for you. <laughs> Look! Billy! Dog! More songs, activities, and podcasts on our YouTube channels.